This video is brought to you by Surfshark. If you've ever been on the internet, like ever, you'll know that unflattering photos of celebrities are immortal and will outlive the majority of us. From the Kardashians to Camilla and Sean, it is possible for everyone to get caught off guard not looking their best, excluding myself of course. And unfortunately for some celebrities, these paparazzi pics can go on to become memes and solidify themselves in the cesspits of the internet, my home. Here's the story of the caught off guard photo of Demi Lovato that went on to birth an unhinged theory about their unofficial twin sister, Poot. Poot Lovato. In 2014, Demi Lovato performed at the Royal Variety Performance in London, England. They sang the hit song Let It Go in front of Prince William and Kate while two people played with curtains behind Demi. Prior to this, as they were making their way to the London Palladium, which is in London, for the Royal Show, a fan decided to take a quick video of Demi with their front facing camera and then took a screenshot of the video to get a photo. And was it a good photo? Not terrible, actually. The the photo turned out a little overexposed and the angle made their hair look odd, yet it still looked like Demi. But on the 3rd of October 2015, the photo got a lot worse. User Versace Slug on Tumblr posted a drawing they had done of this off guard snap. I love Demi so much I had to draw them. They are my queen. Hashtag cool ranch for the summer. The drawing that the user posted was strange enough, but what was even stranger was the inspiration picture they had chose. Because it wasn't this picture, the one from Demi in London, it was this one. This photo had been photoshopped where the editor had effectively inflated Demi, making them almost unrecognisable. It is not known whether it was Versace Slug who did this editing or if this is simply an image that they had found. The Tumblr post went on to gain 182,000 notes, which I'm told is worth more than Bitcoin nowadays. The photo then appeared in another Tumblr post on the 11th of October 2015, captioned Demi's twin sister. She was locked in a basement her whole life. This picture was taken the first time she went outside. Her name is Poot. And after being given a Netflix documentary worthy backstory and being christened Poot Lovato by Tumblr user Tom, soon the legend of Poot Lovato began to to spread across the internet. Poots in my basement? It's more likely than you think. Poot Lovato, my lord and saviour. She pooted for me when no one else would. Leaked. Has Poot Lovato had surgery? There also became a trend of people revealing that Poot had actually been in the entertainment industry for much longer than we had realised by featuring in several budget indie flicks like Finding Poot, Winnie the Poot, Pooter Pan and my personal favourite, Pootie and the Beast. Multiple Multiple Instagram and Twitter accounts were created for Poot, who posted about Poot's experiences after having left the basement. The Twitter account specifically was known for tweeting a wide variety of crazy things. Because of this social media frenzy, Poot Lovato began filling up not only people's Tumblr dashboards and Twitter timelines, but just about any corner of the internet that people could squeeze Poot into. Some of these sites made me nervous to visit because they looked a little, well, dodgy. But thanks to Surfshark, the sponsor of this video, I do feel much safer when searching these corners of the internet. Surfshark VPN is an app and browser extension that encrypts all of your information while you browse the internet to keep your personal data protected from cyber criminals and big companies. And when you're on the battlefields of the internet, like Stan Twitter, where anything goes, and I mean anything, the online protection of Surfshark ensures that data, like your location and download history, is secure. By mass in your IP address. Surfshark also allows you to bypass geo restrictions that certain sites like Netflix or Disney Plus have so that you can access online content as if you were in a different country. So say you wanted to watch Charlie's Angels Full Throttle, like I do most days, but it's not available to watch on Netflix in your region, all you have to do with Surfshark is change your VPN location to a country where it is available to watch, like Netherlands, and you can now watch the greatest movie ever created alongside a bunch of others which you could before. And right now, if you use the code JOREGRETS, all capitals, no space, you get 83% off as well as an extra three months for free. Surfshark also offers a 30 day money back guarantee, so you can try it out with absolutely no risk. To check Surfshark out, visit the link in the description below.
Fans of Poot attempted to create a Wikipedia page documenting the life of Demi Lovato's fake two-dimensional sister, but the page was quickly removed. So, fans attempted to add Poot to the Wikipedia article for Basement, which has also since been removed. Because the Poot meme had become so widespread, news sites began to cover the story. Poot Lovato. Has the internet discovered Demi's secret sister? Demi Lovato twin sister theory. Mystery Poot Lovato has sparked hilarious memes online. Journalism. And there was also, allegedly, a Turkish newspaper that believed that Poot Lovato was actually real. But I'm not 100% sure on that one, because I may not know Turkish, but I know a question mark when I see one, so I'm not sure to what degree the newspaper actually believed the Poot meme. No offence, I funny. While the meme was incredibly popular, some Tumblr users began to criticise the meme as it was centred around making fun of Demi's appearance. Tumblr. Don't make fun of women's looks or people with mental health issues. Tumblr. Poot Lovato. This was a consistent criticism throughout the course of the meme, with fans pointing out Demi's body image struggles, which they had been open about in the past. A week after Poot Lovato was born, on around the 18th of October, yep, the internet works fast, a Wattpad story was published titled The Secret Life of Poot Lovato. The blurb of the story read, she wasn't born cool for the summer, so they locked her up in the basement, thinking she would rot there. How wrong they were when they found out that she had lived a secret life down there, and what a life. Oh, I forgot to introduce her to you. Her name is Poot. The story had 24 chapters and detailed Poot's tragic past, where she got locked in a basement by her parents for flicking a, uh, a blank, which was a reference to a different Demi Lovato meme. In the story, Poot also had a parent trap style switching places with Demi moment to perform at concerts and do meet and greets. As the story goes on, it gets more disturbing and not safe for work, so I don't recommend reading it unless you have an hour of your life to spare like I always seem to have. From a legal battle with Taylor Swift to a brief fling with Justin Bieber's fake twin brother Jube, the story had everything, and the people loved it, with it gaining over 700,000 reads and 22,000 votes. Like in the Secret Life of Poot story, Poot had a music career in real life, with the YouTube channel Poot Lovato Music releasing both Poot for the Winter and Poot Vident, parodies of Demi's songs Cool for the Summer and Confident, which had came out a few months prior, and Poot fans absolutely loved it, some even deciding to analyse the deep lyrics of Poot's songs. This is a distillation of why Poot is the most important important cultural phenomenon of our time. The basement is symbolic of the cold vacuum ideologically slash psychologically that we must all escape to find the truth. Bravo. Some fans even made their own Poot Lovato CDs for Poot's album Unsure, which featured all her hit singles. For those unwilling to burn their own CD, the songs were also somehow released on iTunes and Spotify, despite the fact the songs are just a pitched up instrumental of Demi's own songs with a robotic voice played over the top of them. Poot's songs have since been removed from both platforms, but can still be accessed on YouTube. The twin sister locked in a basement description of Poot also became a copy pasta and people began attaching the caption to other slightly unrecognisable images of celebrities, with each new character following the same name in tradition. One of the most widespread being Doot Howell, the alleged twin brother of Dan Howell that took over the Demi Lovato Tumblr tag for a short period of time. Some Dan and Phil stands even went as far as changing their OTP from fan to Poot and Doot, which for 2015 was a big decision to make. And there was also an attempt on Tumblr to make Jude Bieber, the fake brother of Justin Bieber from the Wattpad book, a thing. Despite not being very popular, the Jube Bieber theory was reported on by a news site, but I think this was just an attempt to get a head start on a potential meme in case it became a big thing like Poot which it didn't. Tanked. Just when you would have expected the meme to slowly begin to die down, on the 22nd of November 2015, in LA, the American Music Awards were held. Demi attended and performed their song Confident, but the internet was focused on another alleged attendee. Poot. Another strange angle of Demi had gone semi-viral, with claims that this was the second sighting of Poot since her release from the basement. Some people even claimed that it was Poot at the awards rather than Demi, since Poot had got a makeover post-imprisonment. At the end of 2015, Time magazine released a list of the most influential fictional characters of the year, and they decided to put Poot Lovato on the list at number 15. I would say that I was impressed with Poot's placement on the list, but she was out 
much piqued by the minions, so if anything, Poot was robbed. And with all this going on, from news articles to very strange fan fiction and even a fake acting career as animated Disney characters, it begs the question, what did Demi think about the Poot Lovato meme? Were they a fan? No, they weren't. Well, not quite anyways. On October 23rd, 2015, shortly after the meme's creation, Demi tweeted, Cool to see a sh** angle turn into a meme that circulates the internet to people's amusement. Ha, oh, and make actual headlines. However, nearly two years after the creation of Poot, in 2017, Demi Lovato tweeted a single gif that went on to break the internet. It was Poot. Demi's tweet announcing the official second coming of Poot Lovato gained 100,000 likes and people praised Demi for embracing the meme, while others were happy to just see that Demi and Poot had finally mended their rocky relationship. Demi's tweet revived the Poot Lovato meme, spawning another wave of posts about the long lost twin in 2017. Later that year, Demi appeared on the Jonathan Ross show where they were asked about Poot Lovato. In the interview, Demi said that at first they were embarrassed at the bad angle photo until someone let them know that it had been photoshopped and wasn't a real picture of them. In this interview, it appeared that Demi was now fully on side with the poot meme, declaring, so this is the win. Later in 2018, Demi provided us all with a much needed poot update when a fan tweeted at them asking if they remembered poot and all the poot theories, to which Demi replied, Poot is locked up, she's allergic to sunlight. And that was the last we have heard of poot. One day we may see poot Lev again, but all we can safely say for now is that the meme has definitely earned its place in the Internet Hall of Fame and that Demi has been an incredibly good sport about the whole thing. Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and don't forget to use the link in the description to check Surfshark out as it really is a great service and has helped support this channel. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one in the future.